Hello everyone. Today we'll be solving Cambridge International ASN A level biology paper two structured questions. February March 2021, variant two two. Question number one A. Figure 1.1 is an image of a transverse section through the trachea of the gas exchange system. We can see the lumen of trachea. We can see ciliated epithelium of the trachea. We can see the perichondrium. Now, X and Y are to be labeled. So X, we can see it's a mucous gland. And Y is basically cartilage. So guys, this is the cartilage tissue and this is the mucous gland. The perichondrium contains collagen fibers composed of collagen molecules. Collagen is an example of one type of biological molecule. State the name of the type of biological molecule of which collagen is an example of. So collagen is an example of fibrous protein. Some structures in the gas exchange system are listed in alphabetical order in table 1.1. Write yes on the box provided if the structure contains smooth muscle. Write no in the box provided if the structure does not contain smooth muscle. So for alveolus, we know that alveolus does not contain any smooth muscle. So no, bronchial, bronchus, and trachea, all of them contain smooth muscle. So yes for all of them. Question number two, starch molecules are the main storage molecules in many types of cereal grain, such as the, such as the grain of the barley plant. A, when seed inside a barley grain germinates, genes coding for digestive enzymes are switched on. The enzymes that are synthesized catalyze the hydrolysis of storage molecules, such as proteins and starch. Explain what is meant by a gene. We know a gene is a length of a section of a DNA that codes for a particular polypeptide. Question number two. The hydrolysis of protein in the barley seeds produces amino acid that can be used in the synthesis of proteins required for the formation of seedling, young plant. Figure 2.1 is an incomplete diagram of the molecular structure of the smallest amino acid. Glycine. Each molecule of glycine has two carbon atoms. So, you know, glycine, amino acids, so there should be an amine group and then there should be acid groups. So, COOH. Complete figure 2.1 to show the molecular structure of glycine. We have done it. Starch is a mixture of two different molecules. Name these two molecules. Well, we know starch is a mixture of amylose and amylopectin. Two of the enzymes synthesized by barley seeds are alpha amylase and maltase. These are involved in the hydrolysis of stored starch during seedling formation. In the food industry, the starch extracted from barley seeds, barley starch is used in the production of sugar syrups. Figure 2.2 summarizes the reactions catalyzed by alpha amylase in the production of maltose syrup and by maltase in the production of glucose syrup. Barley starch, alpha amylase produces maltose. Maltose, maltase enzyme produces glucose. Some of the substances shown in figure 2.2 are listed in table 2.1. Complete the table 2.1 to identify which of the terms polysaccharide, monosaccharide, and macromolecule apply to each of the substances listed. Use a tick if the term applies and a cross if the term does not apply. Put a tick or a cross in every box. So glucose, we know that glucose is a monosaccharide. 
maltase. Maltase is not a polysaccharide, neither a monosaccharide, so it should be a macromolecule. Maltose is not a polysaccharide, it's not a monosaccharide, neither it is a macromolecule. Starch. Starch is a macromolecule. Starch is a polysaccharide. It's not a monosaccharide. When producing sugar setups, there are advantages in using enzyme extracted from microorganism. For example, some enzymes extracted from microorganism are heat stable. Heat stable enzymes are used to in used to increase productivity because the reactions can be carried out at a higher temperatures. Suggest one other advantage of using enzymes obtained from microorganism rather than enzyme extracted from barley seed in the production of sugar syrup. So basically enzymes are easier to extract from microorganism. Enzymes are not easy to you know, produce and neither it is easy to extract from eukaryotic organism. So enzymes are easy to extract from microorganism, which is why uh, we take it from microorganism. Part D. Figure 2.3 is a graph showing how the activity of alpha amylase extracted from barley seeds changes as the temperature increases from 10 to 66 degrees Celsius. We can see that the Activity of barley enzyme increases as the temperature goes up until 50 degrees Celsius. From 50 degrees Celsius onwards, the temperature increase causes the barley enzyme to be less effective. Explain the effect of temperature on the activity of alpha amylase extracted from barley seed as shown in figure 2.3. So from this particular graph, we can see an increase in temperature as in general increases the kinetic energy of the substrate molecule. And thus it increases the rate of successful collision between enzyme and substrate. We can see that the maximum activity of the enzyme reaches at 48 degrees Celsius. So at 48 degrees Celsius, enzyme activity and as substrate binding to the active site is occurring at a maximum capacity. At temperature higher than optimum, active site loses shape and decreases in activity. Sketch on figure 2.3, the curve that you would be obtained you would have obtained, you would be obtained using alpha amylase that is heat stable. So if we were to use a alpha amylase that is heat stable, then the curve that we would obtain would be at a higher, you know, it would have a higher optimum temperature. Question number three, the T helper lymphocytes, Leydig cells, and Leydig cells are two types of mammalian cell. The main role of T helpers, lymphocytes, and Leydig cell is to synthesize and secrete cell signaling molecule. T helper lymphocytes synthesizes protein known as cytokines. Leydig cell synthesizes steroid lipid hormone testosterone from cholesterol. Leydig cells also synthesize cholesterol. State one way in which Cytokines are involved in an immune response. We know immune response, cytokines stimulates the B lymphocyte and causes humoral response. Figure 3.1 shows part of a mammalian cell. State with reasons whether figure 3.1 shows part of a Leydig cell or part of a T helper's lymphocyte. In the diagram over here, we can see a lot of mitochondria. 
Along with that, we can see a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is a very good indication of Leydig cells. So in this figure 3.1, we are seeing Leydig cells because high proportion of smooth endoplasmic reticulum is seen. And smooth endoplasmic reticulum are present that functions to synthesize cholesterol. Part two, underline the correct name for the type of image shown in figure 3.1, explain your choice. So in the previous page, we are looking at a image which is transmission electron micrograph. So the cell structure, the, we can see from this particular diagram that ultra structure of the cells, such as the mitochondria and mitochondria uh, Christe can be seen. So the diagram has a very high resolution and a uh, very thin section confirms the transmission electron micrograph is seen. Membranes of mitochondrion and in nuclear envelopes are also visible. As you can see, nuclear envelope and the membranes of mitochondrion are also visible. Part C, testosterone molecules and cytokine molecules are transported in the circulatory system to reach their target cells. Testosterone molecules are able to enter their target cells and bind to receptors within the cytoplasm. Outline one way in which testosterone molecules could enter their target cell. We know testosterone molecules are lipid soluble, so they can enter a cell by simple diffusion from higher to lower concentration down a concentration gradient via phospholipid, via phospholipid bilayer. Part two, cytokine molecules are not able to enter their target cells. Suggest and explain why cytokine molecules are not able to cross their cell surface membrane to enter the target cell. Cytokine molecules are water soluble. So cytokines cannot cross hydrophobic core of phospholipid bilayer. Cytokines are too large to pass through gaps in fatty acid tails. There are no specific transporter for cytokines. Question number four, A, using a light microscope at a magnification of 400, it is possible to identify different types of blood cells in prepared slides of mammalian blood. Figure 4.1 is a key to identify different types of blood cell in prepared slides of mammalian blood. In figure 4.1, let us see D, E, F present four different types of blood cells. Identify the cell type C, D, E, F in figure 4.1. Okay, so 1A, nucleus present, go to two. Large rounded spir spherical nucleus. Large and rounded spherical nucleus is usually found in lymphocytes. Nucleus not rounded. Okay, go to three. Nucleus is kidney shaped. Nucleus is kidney shaped in monocyte. And finally, nucleus is lobed. Nucleus is lobed in neutrophil. One B, nucleus absent. Nucleus is absent in red blood cell. Part 
Part 2. Explain why blood taken from a person with an infectious disease may have a different number of white blood cells compared with blood taken from a healthy person. The person has more white blood cells as a result of immune response. Clonal expansion of B and T lymphocytes occur in response to pathogen. So production of macrophage also increases in a person, those who are infected with diseases. As a part of a research project, a team of doctors and scientists carried out tests to investigate the effect of altitude on the ability of blood to carry oxygen. They assessed the changes in the oxygen carrying ability of their own blood as they walked from 1530 meters above sea level to 5700 meters above sea level over a period of 14 days. 5700 meters above sea level is an extremely high altitude. Table 5.1 is a summary of some of their results. Percentage saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen in blood leaving the lungs. Day 1 at 1530 meter, 95%. Day 14 at 5700 meter, 82%. Volume of oxygen delivered to tissues by 100 cm cube of blood. Day 1 at 1530 meter, 19.3. Day 14 at 5700 meter, 19.2. Compare the results for day one and the results for day 14 in table 4.1. Explain the results shown in day shown for day 14. We can see there is a less percentage saturation of hemoglobin. We can see there is a less percentage saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen. And we can also see there is a 0 0.1 cm cube reduction in per 100 cm cube of blood, all right? Uh, oxygen carried. Oxygen, so less oxygen is delivered by hemoglobin to tissues. At high altitude, there is lower partial pressure of oxygen in atmosphere. In lungs at the alveolus, less oxygen taken up by hemoglobin. Hemoglobin has a lower affinity of oxygen in lungs. This in turn increases the number of red blood cells. So more hemoglobin is available to bind to oxygen. Part C, the results of research project have led to an improved understanding of disease such as sickle cell anemia. Explain why sickle cell anemia is an example of a disease. People suffering from sickle cell anemia has a lack of physical well-being, so thereby it can be termed as a disease. And the sufferer produces specific signs and symptoms, so thereby confirming that this is a disease. Question number five, each meristem cell in a leaf bud is able to grow and divide by mitosis to produce two daughter cells that are genetically identical to each other and to the original dividing cell. Figure 5.1 lists stages in the mitotic cell cycle of a meristem. G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, cytokinesis, and production of two daughter cells. Outline and explain the events occurring during S phase, metaphase, and a phase of the mitotic cell cycle that are important in the production of genetically identical daughter cells. S phase. So in the S phase, DNA replication occurs, and this produces two genetically identical DNA molecules, one for each daughter cells. Metaphase. In metaphase, chromosome orientate at the equator so that sister chromatids will be shared out to, to
to the daughter cells. Anaphase. In anaphase, centromeres split, spindle fiber shorten. So the sister chromatids move to the opposite poles. Part two, immediately after cytokinesis, daughter cells are not identical, even though they are genetically identical. Suggest a reason why daughter cells are not identical immediately after cytokinesis. Due to unequal sharing of cytoplasm at cytokinesis, they are unequal. Part B. Some of the cells resulting from mitotic division in the young leaf form elongated cells that develop, that, that develop into xylem vessel elements. The xylem vessel elements are joined end to end to form xylem vessels. Suggest the structural changes that occur when elongated cells develop into xylem vessel elements and explain how these changes help xylem vessel elements how these changes help xylem vessels to perform their functions in transport. Xylem vessels transport water and dissolved minerals from root to other parts of the plant. Elongated cells break down their end walls so that tubes form to transport water long distances. The elongated cells also deposits lignin. The lignin strengthens the xylem vessels. The elongated cell then dies. The cell then becomes hollow so that greater quantity of water can flow per unit time. Part two, figure 5.2 is a plan diagram of a transverse section through a dicotyledonous leaf. Add a label and the letter X on the figure 5.2 to identify the location of xylem tissue. So xylem tissue is actually always located in the upper surface. So this is X. Question number six. In March 2019, a typical, a tropical cyclone in the Southwest Indian Ocean caused a widespread flooding in a number of countries. The flooding and the damage caused by the cyclone meant that Many people were at serious risk of cholera. After the natural disaster occurred, many different areas reported outbreaks of cholera. Within a short time, the disease had spread widely and large number of people were affected. A. Cholera is caused by bacterial pathogen. Name the bacterial pathogen that causes cholera. Cholera is caused by Vibrio cholera. Suggest and explain why the people affected by the cyclone were at serious risk of cholera. Cholera is already a endemic in that area. So contaminated water due to flooding contains pathogen. Pathogen is then transmitted by fecal oral route and people were not able to practice good hygiene. Example, not able to wash their hands after defecation. Flies transfers pathogen from uncovered latrines into foods. Part C. In addition to the standard treatment for cholera, antibiotics are recommended for people, those who are moderately ill or seriously ill with the disease. Doxycycline is one of the main antibiotics used for the treatment of cholera. Doxycycline enters the pathogen and binds to one of the subunits of bacterial ribosome. This prevents growth and reproduction of the bacterial cell. Suggest and explain how binding of doxycycline to ribosomes stops growth of bacterial cells. When doxycycline binds to ribosome, mRNA is unable to bind. Ribosome subunits are unable to come together. tRNA is unable to bind to the ribosome. This prevents translation and polypeptide is not synthesized. 
enzymes required for growth are not produced. So the bacteria dies. Penicillin, which is which used to be prescribed for the treatment of cholera, has a different mechanism of action to doxycycline. State which part of the bacterial cell is affected by the action of penicillin. We know that penicillin affects the cell wall. Part D. Mozambique was one of the countries badly affected by the cyclone as a part of effort Part of the effort to prevent greater number of cases of cholera from occurring, two different approaches were taken. Approximately 900,000 doses of oral cholera vaccine were sent to Mozambique, and a large-scale vaccination program was organized. Medical centers were set up in Mozambique to treat people with cholera. Suggest and explain how two different approaches helped to prevent a greater number of cases of cholera from occurring. Vaccines stimulate active immunity to cholera. If people are infected with pathogen, people do not become ill with cholera. Hard immunity can be achieved when majority of the population are vaccinated. This reduces reservoir of pathogen in population. Oral rehydration therapy decreases recovery time. Medical centers are able to monitor antibiotic use and provide most effective medication. Time spent in medical center acts as quarantine. Thank you everyone for joining our lesson today. Subscribe to our channel and uh, let us know which chemistry or biology question paper that you want us to solve next. Bye-bye.